So when I tried to kill myself, I took about 100 downers. And I really thought that would do it. I wrote a note, the whole thing. And then when I woke up. Wait, wait. So so you, you were, were you at home alone? I was at home alone. Right. I kicked my husband out. I like fabricated a fight and kicked him out of the house. And I just thought, okay. And I, in my mind, I really genuinely thought, he's just going to be better off without me. You know, he's probably, oh, I'm in a lot of trouble. And I felt like... I've had a good life. I've accomplished some really good stuff. This has been a good run. And it was all the pills talking. But um, I was just convinced it was my time to go. So you took 100 downers? Yes. And then what happened? You black out right away? I blacked out. And the worst part about trying to kill yourself is waking up. Because I woke up and I was like, you are fucking kidding me. In fact, that was the first thing I said my hand to God when I woke up. I Where, went, you, did you are wake fucking up in, kidding me. In your house? Yes, and there was like blood on the sheets, and I didn't know what happened. And turns out I had taken a fall. And, you know, it was it, also just so you know, I've never had a drink in my life. You so, don't drink? No, never had a drink in my life. Because, you smoke pot? No. Because my parents were alcoholics, I think I thought I couldn't become a pill addict because I don't drink. Like, oh, I mustn't be an addict. I don't even drink. And, you know, when I was taking the pills, like I said, I felt like they were very justified in my mind. So you wake up, there's blood all over the bed. Yeah. And I'm alone in the house. And you're alone in the house. And Kim and Kanye are not coming over. And they I were woke the neighbors up, still. They were the neighbors. neighbors. They kept to themselves. They did. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, um, and yeah, I, I then called two doctors and I said, I tried to take my life. I took a bunch of pills. I don't want to die anymore, but I think I legit in, injured myself. So can I come in and get some x-rays or something? And so um, I went to the hospital, the emergency room. How? Um, I, I called my husband and he drove me. And first we went to the doctor's office and he wisely said, oh, we can't do that x-ray here. You've got to go to the hospital. And, you know. Were I Were you bleeding? Um, I probably wasn't bleeding, but I had like lacerations and bruises and stuff. And I didn't know if I had like twisted an ankle or something like that. And so, um, I, I went in and I told the doctors exactly what I had done and taken. And I didn't know just by telling them that they have to put you on a psych hold. Right. And so I was still probably a little bit messed up. And I remember saying to the doctor like okay well this is great thank you for you know the saline i'm fine i'm gonna head out and he was like no no you're gonna stay you know and um i said no no i'm good and then i go just i'm not gonna do this but what if i just like pulled out the iv i'm just asking and he pulled back the curtain he's like see those two cops they put the bracelets on you and i will never forget that expression the bracelets the handcuffs and so I was in the nut bin for three days. 